Let's talk about flood control. We're down in the floodplain of the Tigert River right now, which is a free-flowing river, and uh, it has these beautiful wetlands um, all around the floodplain. And you can kind of see behind me the chaos of different channels and down trees, and it just looks kind of like a messy landscape. Well, you can imagine when the floodwaters come up into this landscape, they're going to get caught in all of this mess and down trees. They're going to be slowed down, the sediment's going to be trapped, the limbs and the trees being washed down are going to be trapped in this area. And so these floodplain wetlands are actually going to clean up the water of the Tigert River here. And this is an important benefit that they give to anybody living downstream of the wetlands. The water gets cleaner. So uh, instead of channelizing our streams and making them just a single channel, if we let them flow out into the floodplain, then the floodplain will trap that water, hold it, and slow the flow and decrease the flooding downstream. Uh, so there are several ways this happens. One, as I mentioned, is by the vegetation catching the water. Another way is that the water seeps into the soil. These are very soft soils that I'm standing on. They're kind of squishy. They hold a lot of water. So they're absorbing water. And then even though it's winter, you could see there's a bunch of little sedges and grasses and rushes on the ground. All of these are catching water as well. In addition to slowing down floods, wetlands also hold the water and release it slowly so that they're actually increasing the base flow to streams during times of drought. So you could think of wetlands as stabilizing mechanisms that both help to decrease the, the flood flows and also to increase the flows when the streams are dry. And uh, so that process of slowing, cleaning the water and reducing the flood peaks is an important benefit that wetlands bring to West Virginians.